Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to check out Night King's host. He did update his full auto to 1.2. As for the change logs, he lowered down the jailbreak size. Added PS4 Trainers Offline reference. Added new loader, the netcache.js. Uh, added new modifications on the web. As for the activator, he added the PSN Base64 ID. Added PS4 controller. Or fan controller and it's compatible with the 7.5 series so 7.50 7.51 and then 7.55 they can all use this host so we can go right into it here we'll go over to settings I want to show you that I do not have debug settings we'll go up to, to our network go ahead and enable it and we'll launch our browser just do the usual we'll close it that and I think I'm pretty much I got everything cleared. Um, we'll go back into our atmosphere settings. We'll delete our cookies and clear our website down. Go to our bookmarks. I was previously on it. I did get the jailbreak successful. Uh, it was about seven, I think, seven memory errors I ended up getting before it went in. But uh, yeah, sometimes it's one and sometimes it's ten. You just gotta bear with it. You'll eventually get in. So we'll just give it a few moments here. The cache is almost installed. There we go, 100%. So we can hit our PlayStation button and go over and disconnect from the internet. Go ahead and launch our browser. And we'll just give it a few moments here. It shouldn't take too long. We'll see how many memory errors we get, but hopefully we get in right away. Okay, so there's one. There's two. There's two. four there's five there's six And there we go, we're going in now, 50%. And here comes the remaining, 100%. Okay, and we have a few options here, which kernel exploit we want to use. Um, obviously, we're going to use the newest one, which is July 20th, 2021. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And we'll just give it a few seconds here. It shouldn't take too long. And there we go. We are in. So we won't get into the options right away here. Um, everything is pretty much the same for the options. For the, the jailbreak, though, we're going to go with Gold Hand 1.1. So we'll go ahead and click on that. Waiting for clients. Launching the payload. And then Gold 10 1.1 loaded. So we'll go ahead and load another payload. We're going to go with Orbis's toolbox. Go ahead and just select it. As you can see, we don't have to go through that whole process again. We can just load the payload. So there we go. Launching payload. And Orbis's toolbox loaded. So let's go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. We'll just exit out. And as you can see up in the right, we do have our toolbox. We'll go to settings just to confirm we have our settings. Uh, toolbox is there. And that's it. That's 
to all the settings for that. You can put up the depth panel if you want. I usually have it up there. I'm not sure how it ended up turning off, but uh, yeah, that's fine. When we go down, I will show you that we do have debug settings. And uh, everything is in there. So let's go ahead and launch a game. We'll just launch Red Dead. And as you can see, it loads up with no issues. Uh, so if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.